Hello, we're going to talk about force directed along a line here. This one won't be a very long video because this is a short little section, but it's going to be a very important one. So you'll see what we have here. We have this point A, and then we've got point B. All right, this is a 3D problem. Now, we've got this vector drawn. This vector is supposed to represent a force F. Okay, so we've got this force F. Just think of A as being some sort of... Uh, surface or support or something and it's we've got this force going between a and then b now what i want to do is i want to be able to figure out how to find this force vector assuming i'm given the magnitude now what we're going to do is if you look we have point a and point b now we could if we wanted we could find a position vector between A and B, couldn't we? Assuming we had the coordinates of A and B. Now if you look here, R and F, they have the same direction, right? So that means that we can use this R, this position vector, to find the unit vector for that line. So let's write that down. So let's put, since R has the same direction as F, our force vector, then let's use R to find the unit vector U. And U, if you remember, is just going to be position vector over R. Okay, so that's how we're going to find our unit vector. We're going to find the position vector, put it over the magnitude of the position vector. So this is going to be an equation here that you definitely want to know. We'll use it over and over and over again. So let's put some stars by that one. It's going to be important. Now once we have this unit vector, since R and F are in the same direction, because essentially we drew those two parallel, then that means that once that unit vector U is known, then we can find F, or the force vector. And how are we going to do that? Well, the force vector is going to be the magnitude of the force. So we're going to assume we're given the magnitude of the force here. So we'll have the magnitude of the force times the unit vector. And that's what we need. Okay. So then if we extend that out and replace U with this, that means our force vector is going to be the magnitude of the force times the position vector over R. And that's how we're going to go about finding our force vector. Okay, so this is going to be important. And again, this F here, that's just the magnitude of the force. And this is how you'll go about finding the force vector if you're given coordinates of a point. Okay, obviously if you were given angles, something like that, you would use the angles to find your unit vector. So with that being said, if you think about it, our steps we would need to do to find this force vector if we were given two points. Let's write that down. So we got our steps to find F if given two points. What we need to do, you need to find the coordinates of these points. So that'll be the first thing. So in this case, we would need to find the coordinates of A and then B. After that, we're going to find the position vector. And remember, with that, you just basically subtract the coordinates. All right. So for instance, we'd have RB minus RA in this case. Remember, the one that's first is the one that your vector is pointing towards. 
Next, you'll find the magnitude of that position vector. Okay, so that's where you take the square root of the sum of the squares. So that. And then finally, you need to multiply all of that with your force magnitude. Okay, after you put it all together. So then you'd have r over, or r bar, the position vector, over the magnitude, and then multiply it by the force magnitude. Let's write multiply force magnitude, which is f by r bar over r. And then that gives you your force vector. Okay? So pretty easy steps to use. You just got to remember what you're doing. So all you're basically doing is you're trying to find a vector, a unit vector of this line. So if we can find the position vector that's in that same direction, we can use it to get the unit vector of our force. Okay? So let's do some examples in the next video.